Hey everybody, Matthew Cook here, founder and CEO of GTC Golf Academy. And today I'm going to show you how to hit a shot on an uneven line where the ball on an uneven lie where the ball is above your feet. Now I get asked this thousands of times from students all over the world, golfers that I see on a regular basis, and it's and, it, and rightly so. Like, when do you ever get a flat lie? Never. You've always got a slope to deal with. You never get a flat lie. So we have to understand how these different lies affect the golf ball and how we need to adapt to the lie. The first thing I want to shoot down is you don't need to start messing around with your swing. I need to swing more inside, up higher, this, this, that. Your swing changes naturally because of the changes in your address position and because of the changes that you're going to make uh, throughout the shot. Not you don't just start making changes in your swing the first thing we got to understand is how does this lie affect the ball so when the ball's above your feet the ball is typically going to go with the slope it's going to go left i'm a right-handed golfer for us right-handed golfers this ball is going to curve to the left because the ball is above our feet and that's because of a thing called face plane tilt so if i get the club up to the camera here now the leading edge of the club is pointing straight but as soon as the ball gets above my feet the leading edge is still straight, but the club face is now pointing to the left right there. And so because of that, the more severe the slope is, the more, even though the club face, the leading edge is pointing straight, the more above the feet the ball gets, the more this face points to the left, the more the ball's gonna go to the left. And then take into account more loft with more loft the bigger the effect of face plane tilt is especially for the ball starting direction so we got to understand that because it's above our feet for the right-handed golfer that ball's going left and i think it's traders that say the trend is your friend right so the slope is your friend use it don't go against it use it don't abuse it um so we gotta we gotta understand that and that's that they're the, they're the effects that it has on the ball now how do we stand to it I always like to stand wider with uneven lies, especially when it's moderate to severe. This is this is a moderate slope uh, because gravity is always going to pull us down the slope. So I don't I want some balance here. So I'm going to stand a little wider. And now because the ball is essentially closer to me, I'm not going to have as much flex at my knees or at my pelvis. I'm going to be stood a little taller, and then just naturally because of that, the club is going to be swinging much more around my body. Now, if I was to get more leaned over, the club would swing much higher and upwards. But because I'm standing taller, the club's going to swing much more around my body. Now, because this is my actual shot, I'm actually going to try to hold the club face off slightly and not let it naturally release. Because if I let it naturally release, this ball is going way left and I don't want to have a bogey or a double bogey. <laughs> so what I'm going to try to do is hold the face off. That's going to make my finish position a little bit more abbreviated and there's going to be less curvature on the ball so I'll go ahead and try to execute that wider stance just a little taller I'm going to try to hold this face off and that's going to mean there's going to be less curvature on the ball there's still curvature on the ball just less than before that's a well struck shot right there so that's how you can play a ball above your feet lie I hope that helps thanks Ned. Good, oh good <laughs> 